I still remember the look on his face after that one. Ow. I think I missed out on some things in there, so... I don't mind. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Da -da. Stranger. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. On the forge. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Ammo capacity. Oh. Turns I'll out reload. those old bones still have some spark in them. Ah. Can't be too careful these days. Ow. That was dumb. I am super dumb. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll switch him out for the repeater and I'll go back to the hammer. And with this one... I'll take the squared back. Because having a little friend is much better for me. I do enjoy my minions. Let's fly to the next bit, the sundown path. But first of all, I apologize about the crinkles. I really should have done this earlier. Sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure though. Mm. Plenty of smashing. But then somebody gets to the core before the kid. Oh. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. I fell down a hole. So could a reckless kid for that matter. Ooh, get under the thick bits. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Smashy smashy. I wasn't meant to press that. Made a mistake, wasted a tonic. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. The kid thinks twice about risking his hide for me. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security is all fired up. Get out of my face. See, the ah. path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. Yeah, busted. Sky bridges link the path together. <sighs> One of them bridges whips the kid along. 
Mm. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. <sighs> Air travel always was an iffy proposition. Ow. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Get flying, the dude. Changed everything, even where the wind blows. Ah. Uh. Countered. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. Get rid of that squirt. Get up. Get rid of that squirt. But the question is. Keep running. Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. How? Drink. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core. Oh no. Gotta keep jogging. No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. everything God damn it die damn it Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time they get real cranky when they wake them up oh, she's mad she Well, grab me that sparkly thing over there. Something burnt, you say? Ow. Can I get jogging, dude? And onward back to the skyway. In all Not this good. toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? Who else? Who still lives? Also sausage? So he didn't find a core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Sausage? Hmm. Delicious. As always. Now get up. We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we built. Hey, oh, something in the. Let's have a look in the forge. No. 
I don't have the thing for it, so... Glory awaits! Let's go face first into the ground again. Dun dun! The dead welcome him with open arms. <laughs> the calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees a plane and frozen faces all around. <laughs> You don't much care to see him. Not like this. It's quite a dark and sort of like disquieting sort of story to it. These folks never saw the calamity coming. But someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. There was someone like him. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. Gotta get there. He's got so many questions, after all. Ow. The Thunder Brothers didn't make it. Get shot in the face. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the Bird Boy didn't make it. Yeah, so which way? The Jawsons. They didn't make it. Nobody made it. Everybody Grady did. Senior, Grady Junior, they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Shovel. There we go, is the. Just map. think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survives as well. Pow, pow, pow. Pow. Apparently that hand grenade just flew a billion miles away. Kid does what he has to do. And then, what do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. Get we your way. Go. Please. Get your way to Bastion, son. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Mm. Both to him and to each other for the first time. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east.
He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Mm. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. Spades. The cores. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be alright. Things are gonna be alright. Well, look what we have here. Back to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. And so these are all the proving grounds and things like that. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. Now pay attention, we'll make everything alright. Hey, you covered over the hole? Also, means I'm not gonna fall down it randomly. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. Dunna, let's get flying and let's see where we're going this time. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Barrels. Oh, I'm a king of Parisian taxi driving. Nice. We drove on down to get home to you. 